Hello everyone, this is Chris with StickerFab, and today I just wanted to do a little brief overview of these two DRL overlays that I've made for the 2024 Land Cruiser, and also go through a brief installation of them. As you can see on the left side or passenger side of this vehicle, we have our topographic map overlay, and in general, it gives this kind of just a darker appearance when the vehicle uh, does not have its lights on. You can see it right there. See the design in there, and over on this right side or the driver's side, we see this orange overlay that I've made. Kind of gives it more of that classic look, a little bit of a halogen style type design where the lenses actually had to be different colors for items like turn signals and side markers. If you look at your vehicle or any vehicle on the internet, those pictures, this will be a very white area. And I'll actually take this off for you after I show you what this looks like lit up. Hopefully you're not seeing this blinking light as I am in the camera right now. Hopefully I can take that out in post-production, but this gives it an orange appearance. And over here, you can see the topographic map design when it's lit up really easily. And then from straight on in front of the vehicle, you still see a little white stripe at the bottom. So these will function very well as DRLs still. Let me take off this side and now you can see how white that is in appearance. Let me go get some stuff and we'll go install the matching topographic map for this side because I do want that darker look on this vehicle. And it matches with some other elements that I already have installed. All right, so I already know that I should have picked a better shutter speed when showing you guys those lights. As you can see here, it's not blinking. We won't be able to recover the other footage, but I do have a lot of photos on the website of what it looks like with the overlay on there and this illuminated. Of course, we have our driver and passenger side vinyl. I have a microfiber tile. I have a microfiber towel. I'm gonna to use the sticker fab application fluid here to clean off the lens. You can use basically anything that doesn't have uh, wax in it. It's not gonna leave any residue on here. You can use that to clean this off and prepare the surface. Let's clean that really well and try to go deep in there as possible. I might change the camera angle because you really have to slide the vinyl up in there. All right, what I also have on me is a felt tip squeegee. All of this is available on our website. I am going to, one, make sure my hands are clean. They already are. And then as I take this off, there is a light breeze. So I'm going to spray it with application fluid as I take it off because I don't want it to wind up sticking to itself. I'm going to spray down that lens again. This application fluid breaks up the initial tack. So you can slide this around. You'll be able to tell by the curve how this fits. So I want to slide it in here. It goes all the way up against the left side right there. And the right side just ends right before the orange side marker. Now I'm going to look up in there and make sure it's pretty uniform. I can look at it from the front and make sure that curve is uniform as well. Once I'm happy, with where it is sitting. I try to use my fingers to push out some of that fluid, and then I'll switch to my felt tip squeegee. I'm gonna hold it down with one hand and gently push it with the other. You do wanna do this installation in probably 70 degree or warmer weather. It's a lot easier when it's warmer. I'll we'll have to drag this back to the left. Just a little bit. I can lift it if I need to. Have to realign it. You can grab yourself a heat source, like a hair dryer or a heat gun, and speed up that drying process. I'm going to go ahead and grab one because you'll see either I'll have to wait for a while till this dries off because we're going to leave a lot of liquid right here at the front. 
or I can get that heat gun or hair dryer and dry it off a little bit quicker. I'll show you how that works. This portable heat gun is really not that much powerful than a hair dryer. It's just powered by this battery. I can feel there's tons of liquid still on here. An alternative would be to park it directly in the sun and then roll my fingers straight over the edge like I'm doing here. Now it's best, especially when you start to roll it straight over the edge and get it down versus like this. If you do it like this, it can bunch up. You'll get creases. Good rule of thumb is if the heat from the heat gun or hair dryer is burning you, it's probably a little bit too hot for the vinyl. Push up here real quick, make sure the back of the vinyl is pressed firmly against the lens. Then we'll work this last corner and this corner is actually on two different surfaces, this one and then the side marker faces forward a little bit more. So I'll have to use a little bit more heat and also massage it just a little bit more. There we have it, all installed. All right, so that's the final result. Even if you think this is dry, I would go ahead, park it in the sun, and definitely before you drive off, go ahead and press everything down firmly, again, so it doesn't blow off. But if you're in a warm environment, you really shouldn't have that many issues. So for more products like this, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things I'm coming out with for the 2024 end up Toyota Land Cruiser.